My friends, thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film in a violent nature. It's not necessarily new or different. It's just a new style of what a slasher film usually is. In fact, you know, it's really close to a Friday the 13th movie. I mean, honestly, Jason and the killer in Unviolent Nature could, like, be pals. I mean, they could be related in some way. In fact, you know, Jason is probably like, yeah, I got a friend up in Canada doing things. You know, he's one of those types of killers that is pretty much a copy of a lot of different slashers. And this is a perspective where you actually get to be with the killer the majority of the time. It's one of those films that is trying to take it to a different level and it does it succeeds in every single way i mean the gore and the kills are creative and new some are just you know pretty you know obvious and easy and then others are just like crazy you know that's the one thing i love about chris nash is that he was a special effects makeup person before becoming a director so he elevates it. And I love directors who do like the director of Fall Guy or the director of John Wick. You know, they were stunt people before they became directors. So they take it to a whole nother level. And that's what Chris Nash does. But Chris Nash actually drew inspiration from uh, a different style of filmmaking. Gus Van Sant's Last Days and Elephant and Jerry. And also takes uh, notes from Terrence Malick. So if you don't even know what those movies are or you never seen a Terrence Malick movie, then you might be kind of disengaged a little bit because it takes a little bit of time and patience to watch movies like that. Let's put it this way. It is immersive cinema. <laughs> it's supposed to hypnotize you into the film and bring you in and, and just kind of grab a hold of you. And does this movie do that? Did Chris Nash succeed in what he was trying to do? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't think it was a full yes, I think sometimes. And I think it wasn't necessarily all Chris Nash's fault, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Just think about it this way. If you were watching Friday the 13th, and you just hung out with Jason in the woods, this is what that movie is. You have a group of young adults who are on vacationing, and there's a killer in the woods. So, nothing new here. But there is a different type of lore that's happening you know what the killer's trying to do and what the killer's trying to accomplish. Is this film for a general audience? No. Everyday horror fan, is this movie for you? No. I checked before coming on today that on Rotten Tomatoes is the audience is not reacting well to the film. It, it, the critics are, and but the general audience is not. And absolutely, totally understand. It is not for the general audience. It takes a lot of patience to watch this film because of what it's trying to accomplish. My audience in the theater did not have the patience. In fact, they were a distraction. They were getting just irritable and annoyed by the style of this film. And it just, you know, brought out the worst in this audience. So... So that's why it didn't necessarily work for me because I wasn't with the right people watching this film, which is kind of sad. I, were, I would have loved to have just been just all in, immersed in. There's a lot of cliches in this film and it's predictable and, you know, there's a... <laughs> but that's what makes a slasher film a slasher film, I suppose. The acting in it was good at the beginning but when it gets to an intense terrifying part of the film then it becomes a little they you transparent let's put it that way it's transparent there's a, a character called the woman in it who's probably the strongest character in the entire film and delivers um a speech that uh, is the metaphor of what the film is all about these are art house things. These are independent filmmaking. It feels like a 80s Sean S. Cunningham type movie. It's grainy. It's Chris Nash's purpose was to come in and create a different style of slasher film. 
and he succeeded. Bravo to him for doing that, and bravo for the fact that he tried something new. And if it doesn't connect with the majority of uh, audiences, which it won't, <laughs> it connected with me. It connected with probably some of the cinephiles out there who were trying to see something different. It's connecting with probably the, the horror gore fans. You have to have patience. You have to have appreciation for art type style films. Uh, if you've seen those movies I mentioned with Gus Van Sant, Elephant, Jerry, or Last Days, or even uh, a Tal Terrence Malick film, you, you kind of have an idea of what you're going into. And I think that's, that's the goal. Just kind of let it be. Let it immerse you. Don't be an impatient audience member who's going to ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> or you don't, you're don't, you not buying into it. Don't ruin it for the other people in the theater. I'm sorry, but I, that's my rant because I am so upset that I was with an audience like that. And But at the same time, and, and, and I think that's what's disappointing is that it pulled me out of it a little bit. And it wasn't the film's fault. That's my rant on that. Be a good audience member. This is a perfect movie to why I make th this, these types of videos because it's not like I'm trying to give a film criticism. I'm trying to get you to understand what you're walking into. And if it's for the value of you going in and saying, wow, oh, this is like, uh, you know, this is garbage. It's not garbage. It's really good. It's really good. It's different. It's exactly what we've been asking for. I don't know. That's, again, that's my thoughts on this whole thing. And In a Violent Nature, in my opinion, um, was it, it succeeds in what it's trying to do. It doesn't always work, but it, it's a nice, fresh take. And in seeing, thing, seeing, it, seeing things differently, <laughs> seeing it different is what's really exciting for me when it comes to these are just my thoughts i would love to hear what you have to say about it because i'm sure there's going to be some strong opinions uh on this film and hopefully i laid it out what my thoughts were and my opinions are so yeah share your thoughts in the comments stand with me when i go on this film journey and uh please uh, continue watching i'm just so happy that, that i'm able to do this with you and, and go through this with you so thank you for watching and till next time